was at the Hynix. Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is April 14th, 2022. I don't know why I wanted to go to 2024. I'm just leaping ahead in years. a couple of years. Yeah. But, and it's um Thursday. Are we done, guys? Thursday morning at 7.56 a.m., people. You might think, oh, she's starting to turn it around. She's starting to get up early. I am. I am so great. I am turning it all around. Do you think they plowed that? Did you look over there? Oh, no, I didn't. They uh, Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they replowed. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we have fields right across the street from us. And this is an exciting time of the year for us, right? Because this is when they start plowing and seeding and stuff. They get bring in the, the, the big, beautiful farm equipment that's just, like, gigantic. I mean, you don't think it's that big when it's in a field. But when it comes on our street, and it's, and you're like, Wow. Yeah, they say, it takes up about a lane and a half. It does. But anyway, so not too long ago, they plowed it. Now they just did it again. See, I, could, I did with a different configuration on these, these things here. I don't know if they laid seed or not. You want to go out and look? It. Yeah, I'll go run over there. And... No. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Yes, I'm starting to turn over a new leaf. Not... Ask me if I've been to sleep yet. Go ahead, ask. Nope. Fixing to, though. Fixing to. He ain't been asleep either. I don't know why. We just couldn't sleep. So, hi, Charlie. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Wow. Don't spill my coffee, Charlie. <laughs> Sorry. When the big dog comes over and starts slurping you, you're like, okay. <laughs> wow, Charlie. You're just all full of love this morning for everybody. Anyway, so I didn't make a video yesterday. It's been kind of a busy week. Um, you know, I had to run out. I had to run all over with my new car. And I'm sorry that the title was so weird Tuesday. My keyboard uh stuck. And even when I unplugged the keyboard, I don't know what the heck. It was like it was possessed on the letter U. Brad watched it. I didn't want to touch nothing. And I would go and delete it all. And then it would start running again. Hi, Nixon. How are you? Yes. <laughs> see. Yeah. Can you show everybody a pretty little face? Oh, they didn't get to see it. Your pretty little face. <coughs> wow. <coughs> You need to check yourself. <coughs> really? <coughs> what is that <coughs> all about, Charlie? <coughs> Stop. No. No. You only have to. No. No, sir. Your dog is being naughty, Brad. Do something with your dog. My dog? Yeah, he's your dog now. <laughs> anyway. Now I've got, so anyway, my keyboard was possessed by the letter U. And so all I could finally think to do was throw it up there. This way you guys got no title, really. You got no description. Because I just threw it up there. I'm like, don't you think I wanted to do a better title than you? I wanted to put a title about getting the car. You know, getting the new vehicle. This is 2006. Hyundai Santa Fe. Great condition. It only has 150,000 miles, right? 150? Yep. And, I mean, it's pristine condition. And, you know, if anybody knows Hyundai's, it's they a really super great record. And did find out that they are part of GMC there. Oh. You thought they yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah, because I knew, um, I know a, a lot of times you'd see you at, like when I worked yeah. at the dealership, you would uh, get a Hyundai to test drive, and mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it was like driving. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the parts were the same. Yep. 
you know, there was, I know a gal that used to work as an accountant for GMC. And, oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, um, love it. Love. I named it Grasshopper. A friend of mine, she's like, so you're going to call it Grasshopper? And I've known, she and I have been friends since junior high. And um, I'm like, that's a great name. So, yes, I named it Grasshopper. Don't have to worry about anybody probably stealing it because you will know the color. Not that many, you know, neon green vehicles out there. But I said it fits me too because, you know, I like really colorful things. But, um, so yeah, so I need to start like Monday and stuff. I'm going to start auctioning off like my completed diamond painting, some of them. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some hats because somebody suggested that, you know, if I if I put up some hats that they they wanted to buy some. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to go through and, and look at my completed paintings and probably put some of those up because I need to make me some money. I would like to make at least $300 a month. I feel like that would pay for my car payment. It would pay for the increase in the, the um, insurance and also put some gas. And it, I, I don't have to, but it would make me feel good to do it, you know, because, you know, it's a privilege to have a vehicle. And and I and I, you know, am, am really thankful that I have it. And also this month, I need to make up enough to start my other business, which was I wanted to start making some uh, of the tumblers, you know, that are, um, you know, with the alcohol ink and, and some acrylics. There's a million different ways to make them. I think it's something I'd be good at. I want to start doing that, but I have to have some startup costs, which is going to be at least three, $400. So um, I'm going to do that. Plus, I need to pay back the money we borrowed for the down. And, you know, we always do that. But, um, you know, I just want to make some money. And, and, you know, also I have too much stuff around here. I would like to auction off some of my stuff, you know. So, um, but, yeah, I'm, I love I love my vehicle very much. It's so easy to drive. And, um you know, it gets great gas mileage, and I'm just really thrilled to have it. It makes a big difference in our life, because like that, you know, Brad has wanted to, before, go fishing and stuff. Now that his, you know, he's doing so well with his um, hip replacement, but he hasn't wanted to leave me at home without a vehicle. There's times I want to go places, and um, uh, he doesn't want to... And I don't want to leave him without a vehicle for real long. So, um, you know, it makes a lot of difference when you know you have a vehicle. You can just run down the street. I tried to stop, and, and uh, I was out early this morning. I was going to get us breakfast at Hardy, but they were backed up and jacked up. You know how every place is. Can't keep help, and, and I don't know if they didn't have some help show up this morning or well, what the story was. Also... Everybody in Sharpsburg probably stops by to get their breakfast. On oh, their man, yeah, they do. They do. Because that's the only place really in Sharpsburg to get, get your plate, your breakfast. So, yeah. So, I did not get breakfast there because, for Brad and I, because I turned around and came back home. I'm like, nope. It was double parked and that line would not move it. I was in it for a while. <laughs> You know, Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean, hey, what are you doing, girlfriend? What? Find a different hobby, girl. Okay? What, what's your new hobby? Am I your new hobby now? Well, come here then. Well, come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Oh, my goodness. What? What? Are you going to show everybody your, your, your groom? Show him. Come on. Show him. No. You're not gonna show anybody your face, are you? Here, show everybody your little face. You can find my little face. Right? Right, Jelly Bean, are you okay now? Hmm? What? What? 
What, are you okay now? I know. See? See, everybody miss seeing you. They haven't seen you for a few days, girlfriend. I know. They haven't seen you. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl or a bad girl? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, Mom. She has been cheating on me. I will have y'all know this, girlfriend. She, the other night, I could not find her. Right? I'm looking for her. There's no, there's no jelly bean on my bed. Brad was out here watching TV. I had been in, my, in the bedroom watching TV. So, I'm looking up. Oh, now you just couldn't try and bury your head, huh? <laughs> but, so I asked Brad, I'm like, where's Jelly Bean? She's out here on my lap. She came out here. No, I'm telling this story. Don't try to act like you didn't do it. She came running out here, and when she decides she wants up you uh, on you, she just, you're just going to get a dog all of a sudden right on you. She came and jumped up on his chest, and... Made herself a nest on his lap. I'm like, really? You cheated on me, Jellybee. Wow, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're too silly. You're too silly about that. <laughs> I never knew poodles. Poodles? Poodles were so expressive with their with their paws and stuff, right, Jellybean? Why are you looking at Dad for it? He can't save you now. No, it's, it's, yeah, you should be. <laughs> I can't do you anymore. <laughs> You're too funny. What? Are you just, are you hammering it up for everybody? Can I talk about how you cheated on me again? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> you still, okay. <laughs> You still did cheat on me, Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, did you cheat on me? Did you cheat on me, Jelly? What? What? Did you cheat on me, Jelly Bean? Huh? Hey, hey, girlfriend. Oh, you're not going to look at me now? Hey, did you cheat on me? No? Oh, okay. She's okay. Trying to act innocent. Are you acting innocent? <laughs> Jelly Bean. What are you doing? Are you okay now? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What's this? Okay. Okay. All right. Are you going to be okay now? Oh, you're just too silly, aren't you? Oh, okay. I forgive you. No, we share you. I think it's very cute, actually, that she, <clears throat> that she'll come out and uh, climb on his lap. He, we have, he hasn't really had a, a little dog that did that because Missy tolerated him. And it wasn't anything you ever did. Yeah. Missy did just, Missy sometimes just barely tolerated me. She was, I loved Missy with all my heart, but the older she got, the crappier she got. Like we all do. But no, yeah. she really didn't have much to do with Brad mm. or anybody else, really. No, she was your dog. Yeah. But, yeah, um, no bones about it. Yeah. But, so it's really nice that Jelly Bean loves both of us. I mean, she's predominantly my dog, but she has coming around you more and more and more. She gets so excited when he, if he walks in the house or if he walks in my bedroom and stuff, she gets so excited. He'll come sit on the bed, talk to me for a while, and, uh, and, uh, she's just right there. And, right, Jelly Bean? Right? <laughs> She's a character, though. But beautiful spring day out. Warmed up nice again. And, uh, you know, days like this are just, I'm happy. I got a car. I'm happy. I've been wanting a car for a long time. We haven't had a new vehicle in. The Jeep? Yeah, yeah but how long ago was that, babe? Ten years. Oh, well over ten years. Well over ten years, honey. You know, it's been, what, six years since we lived in Wyoming? Yeah. We had a, you worked a dealership how long? Four years. And we had it before that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's probably, 
right then. 12, 13? Um, probably 11 or 12. No, it's got to be at least 12. Well, if it was longer than 12, I would have been at Albertson. No, how long did you work at, at, at Loaf and Jug? Two years. Okay. And then before that? Oh, no, just, so, yeah, so. Yeah, I started Loaf and Jug <clears throat> in yeah. 2010. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, probably 11 or 12 years. And we had the geo when, when Emma was born. And stuff because the geo was so geo was so small, right? And it, only, it was just a two door, right? The, <laughs> how redneck can you be? <laughs> Car seat <laughs> with the baby <laughs> would not fit through. You know how 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 the how the baby carrier clicks onto the to the, the um, mound or whatever in the car, you know, it clicks in, but couldn't get it through. So you had pass her through the hatch. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> she was clicked in. Oh, yeah. But we knew we could only do that for so long because the big, bigger she got and stuff, <laughs> you know, but... Um, then after that, we had to just take her in a station wagon, you yeah. know. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember we had the Geo. Poor Geo. It was a good car, though. Yeah. And both girls learned to drive on it. Both, both. girls wrecked it. They were the only ones that ever, well, Coke wrecked. wrecked yeah. Did the biggest wreck. So, okay, the car was in three wrecks. I did not wreck it. Brad did not wreck it, actually. We were in, don't get all huffy puffy stuffy. I can do that. We were stopped at a stoplight. And, you know, I mean, we had just gone to Walmart and bought a whole bunch of Easter stuff. Okay. It was early, but we bought a whole bunch of Easter stuff. And we were waiting at a stoplight, and I think there were two vehicles ahead of us. Yeah, two. And this Coke truck, not paying attention, barrels into it, and we were number. We were number two from the front in a seven car pileup. Yeah, and um, one. This uh, was it. The truck end went. One vehicle rolled on top of the other one that partially. The the car behind us ended up with. The car on top of him right. from her. And Just that was the, the, the hood part, not... But still, there was a pregnant lady in there that they, they did have to take by ambulance. They do that anyway, yeah. but, you know, it was pretty gnarly. We were lucky we just didn't get hurt worse than we did, but it did total our car. We, I mean, we didn't get hurt. I, I banged up my knee some. I should have had it looked at. Still gives me some fits, but um, I remember just all of a sudden... We got smacked, and then we're rolling, and I'm yelling at Brad to stop because I know he's going to hit the car in front of him, and he, I, I think he knew what had happened by then. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So then what, is, what do I want to do? Because, you know, I'm just so bright sometimes. I want to get, I want, I start getting ready to leave the vehicle. We're still moving, right? But I'm, I'm a little freaked. I don't know what's going on, and all you can hear is, is, Bang, 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 you know, these cars, you know, and um, and I think we started hearing that before we got hit, and that's probably what made you look up. Yeah. Look um, in the rear view mirror. Well, the, the thing I saw, the first thing that caught my attention was it, they were doing construction on 2nd Street. Yeah. And normally it's a four lane, and they had it down to two lanes. One each direction. Yeah, and... Uh, um, the, uh, the speed posted speed limit there was 20 but because of the construction mm -hmm. and all I hear is I hear wheels locked up sliding across gravel and, uh, um, uh, I see the, I see the whole wreck in through the rear view. Yeah, mirror. see, I didn't. Yeah. 
And uh, um, the thing that really got me is there's me and another guy that we got out and we were checking to make sure everybody was okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, yeah, I think I called 911 too. There was yeah, a, a bunch of people that did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we were... That poor police officer trying to take all them reports from eight different vehicles. Yep. And, uh, yeah, because uh, it was two cars behind us, that lady, mm -hmm. the pregnant lady, mm -hmm. and uh, she was okay. Mm -hmm. But the thing that got me was the kid that caused the whole thing. He didn't bother checking nope. to make sure anybody was okay. He wouldn't talk to anybody. He didn't yep. check to see if anybody was okay. He called his mommy to come down. Yeah. You know, and I mean, it, he was clearly at fault. He went he went barreling out of that intersection and down into that lane, not paying any attention. Mm -hmm. You know, and people that don't pay attention end up, well, my friend Joe locked her husband Bob yeah. to a guy driving, not paying any attention. We were lucky we weren't dead stopped on an interstate like that. Yeah. You know. And it yeah. could have been a lot worse. I don't know the people way far back that got hit hard. Yeah. Still, he wasn't going as fast as you would be on an interstate. Yeah, no. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. And then, you know, it was stupid because they totaled our vehicle. <laughs> okay, so good. I mean, it paid it off, right? So then we're like, okay, we're without a vehicle. Now, we drove it home. I don't know if they were just trying to make everybody happy. I don't know if they just told everybody's vehicle or what. Uh, but, you know, we even argued with our insurance company. And so, <laughs> because, you know, it was like, we drove it home. It just had, like, what, a dent? Did it have any? It, the... The frame got bent a little bit. Uh, no? no? It had, uh, the rear bumper was dinged up. And when you opened up the hatch, you could see a little bit of damage on the inside. And then the uh, front bumper was dinged a little mm -hmm. bit. And I took it I took it to a body shop that mm -hmm. was uh, um, probably the best in town. I mean, the, they're most honest. Anyway, and, uh, they don't care about that. No, right? and he put, he, <laughs> uh, the estimate he gave was like about $1,500. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, uh, Coca-Cola's insurance company, they estimated the damage at over 5000 mm -hmm. So they they did. They ended up totally. They totaled it. And then we bought it back for what? $100. $100. And we drove it and drove it and drove it and drove it and drove it. And drove it. I mean, when our oldest daughter wrecked, was the first one to wreck the jail. And because she had... Way too many kids in there. Oh, now, Lord. okay, you can take mom's car to school. I'm being nice, right? You can take mom's car to school. Don't leave it. Don't. You're only going to school, coming home. Don't be going on lunch. Don't. They went on lunch. They piled as many butts in that car as they could. They had about two too many butts in that car, at I least. I think they had seven people. In there. Seven. Oh, so they had three too many yeah. people, didn't that? One gal, and, and we just love this gal. She was African-American, and she used to wear her hair pretty far picked out, right? And, I mean, it's super thick, thank goodness, because this child, I think, was sitting on top of somebody else's lap, and when my daughter hit the back end of, of somebody right in front of her, her, her head hit that windshield. It didn't hurt her, thank goodness, because she had all that hair. It cracked the windshield and everything. I mean, you could see. And I was like, oh, my God. My daughter called called me up. I have to tell you something, but I don't want to tell you. And she's just hysterical. And I'm like, what? I don't want to tell you. I'm like, what? I wrecked the car. What? <laughs> so you happened to be home. Yeah. We went there. And then... The, Police yeah. officer, if you knew our child, you knew not, you had to get pretty firm with her points in time so she really wasn't going to get it. So I'm, I'm not too happy with her because, you know, she had instructions and stuff not to, not to do this, not to be out at lunch hour. 
uh, like that. And, you know, because I know the, I, I'm out within high school. You're all going to jump in, in, in the car and want, want to run up to a fast food place or they were going up to, to a convenience store. And so I'm, I'm not happy with her all. And, and the police officer's like, no, it's okay. You know, these kind of things happen. I'm sure you've learned your lesson. I'm like, <laughs> let me beat you instead. Yeah. I mean, he, he didn't know, but it's like, you know, you had to really kind of impress upon her. You, it's like, don't coddle this child because, yeah. you know. <laughs> I don't remember what Kim did to, to wreck the car. She was um, coming up the frontage road, and you know how the frontage road made a really okay, they, sharp... Honey, they don't know about the frontage okay. road, and you, you're show, giving me hand gestures that they can't see either. Yeah, it, well, it was a, the road made a, made a sharp left turn, and she had somebody right on her tail. And so instead of... That's what she said. Yeah. And <laughs> so she ended up um, not... She ended up missing the corner. And she uh, rolled She rolled through a barbed wire fence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it really did much. No. There were some scratches on the hood. But... Yeah. You know. Yeah, there was more of a scratch on the hood. There was that dent because somebody had taken a bike or something. Yeah. You know, you had it at work, and and yep. and they had taken a, a bike and and I guess rolled over the top of it or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know, we used to call it, the kids used to call it the Barney Mobile. You know, <laughs> but um, as we haven't had a new vehicle in in a number of years, we tend to. Get a vehicle and, and, you know, drive it to death, pretty much. Yeah, we, I, on average, we keep them at least 10 years plus, you know. Because yeah. we've had, we haven't had that many vehicles no. all the years that we've been married. We've had, let's see, one, two. Well, let's start with the first one we got, which was the, the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Taurus. The station wagon, right? Mm -hmm. We thought that was. We got the Mustang. Okay. And then we got. It was Let a, him tell us. And then it was. Uh, Just how many vehicles? They don't need to know. Probably kind. five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Five or six. I mean, in a span of, of 34 years is not bad. Mm -hmm. only, only a few times had. When I was going to beauty school, when he ended up getting this old Mustang, and he showed it to me, and he just about sat on the ground, you know, how Mustangs are, and the seat was broke also, the front seat, and stuff, and I looked at him, I'm, I can't drive this, you know, so he drove it, and I had the, the other car uh, for beauty school, and then your mom had bought that one for a couple hundred dollars, yeah. that big green tank. Yep. That thing wouldn't stay running for anything. I mean, it vapor locked or something. And yeah. and I mean, this is one of them old, old, heavy vehicles. And, oh, you could just see that. I didn't know it used up so much gas. I don't know if you could turn the corner to the gas station and be out. <laughs> but, um, you know, but... So besides that, when I was going to beauty school, and then um, when we got to Geo, that was in the year 2000, and then we had just one vehicle for a while then, or no, the, the Jeep was to replace the Geo. Yeah. And we sold the Jeep, or the Geo, and uh, uh, got this Jeep. So, you know, we haven't very, we haven't very often had two vehicles um you know and it, it hasn't been easy because um you end up staying home a lot more than you want to but you know you may do it used to not be that big of a deal when it used to be more women were at home but with most everybody working and stuff it, you know so we got to the point where since we had one vehicle we either set it up to where for well for a long time brad just worked night so I would go pick up the kids from school and wake him up 
and he would go get in the shower and stuff, and he needed to leave for work. So I got home with him. And then we either tried to look for a place to either was close enough for him to walk to work, close enough for the kids to walk to school. Had to be either or. Yeah. So. Yeah, and when we moved to uh, Donegal, the girls would walk to school. Cause yeah. It was just yeah. The two schools were close. Yeah. And then they they loved it too because it was this great big overhead you know overhead walkway across the interstate. They really thought that was cool. But um, and then when we moved out to Bar None, the school the bus stop was just one house down. So like they could just watch for the bus and you know. Yeah. Yeah. Especially on those below zero days. Mm -hmm. So but anyway. That's all we got going on now that we've pithered away a half hour. Done a lot of reminiscing. Well, I'm sure that you guys are bored to death. <laughs> I hope not, but, um, you know.